Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a feature allowing authors to show or hide visualizations on a canvas based on a user driven action. On this canvas there's some customer count data shown and the author has exposed city as a primary filter for the end users. There's also a filter control allowing authors to show or hide additional filters. See what happens when I click on show. The title of the visualization is now replaced with another dashboard filter bar which has additional set of filters. When you click on hide, the filter bar is uh, hidden and uh, the title of the visualization is shown. Now let's go into the edit mode and look at the design experience for show hide functionality. And on freeform canvas style, I can overlay visualizations one on top of another. So you can see that the text visualization is overlaid on top of this dashboard filter bar. And we've added a new property to all of the visualizations called visibility parameter. In this example, this is bound to a parameter called show additional filters. Let's navigate to the parameter tab. And if you open up the show additional filters, it is of integer type and it's kind of a Boolean parameter which holds values zero or one at any point in time. And uh, a value of zero means that uh, the visualization is uh, hidden and a value of one means that the visualizations will be shown. Once the author binds the parameter to the property, they can also choose a specific condition uh, based on which the visualization can be shown or hidden. We have four different conditions for the author to choose from. There is any subset exact match and superset. Now I've used the exact match condition, meaning that if the parameter value holds exactly what the user selects, then show the visualization else hide it. I have bound the same parameter to the visibility parameter property of the text visualization and I have also used the exact match condition and by default is set to hit. Now let's review a slightly more complex use case. Uh, in this example, I've got four different visualizations that is overlaid on top of one another. And I've exposed a parameter called measure as a filter control which holds these four measures as available values, uh, initial value set to sales. And uh, the parameter is then bound to the visibility parameter property. The visualizations below the tiles also have the same parameter bound to the visibility property. And the condition used is exact match. And the value for this specific visualization to be true is discount. So Similarly, let's take a profit uh, visualization and you can see that this visualization is true when the parameter value is uh, set to profit. Now let's uh, review the consumer experience in this scenario. The default value of parameter is sales. So the sales related uh, tile data and the overlay chart is displayed. As I select a different value for quantity, you can see that the quantity tile is uh, is displayed along with the, the detailed data for quantity by product subcategory and the rest of the visualization on the canvas is hidden. Let's review a few more examples. And this is a show hide example where the visualization is shown when any of this parameter value matches the value in the parameter condition. As I select furniture, the visualization is displayed. As I select more values of the parameter, the condition is still true because any of these values matches the parameter conditions that the author has set and the visualization is appended to include these values as filter to the visualization. Here's an example of the subset condition. So in the example, the parameter condition is set to critical, high and medium. When I select low or not specified, you can see that the visualization is not displayed. But when I select one of the values or all of the values like critical, high or medium, the visualization below continues to be displayed. The superset is the inverse of subset, meaning that the parameter values contains all of the values selected. So the visualization is only displayed when critical, high and medium, when all of these values are selected, the parameter condition is set to be true and the visualization is shown on the UI. Thank you for watching this video.